of your people, I thought I'll finally tell you all about my my finger, my finger glove, and why I have it on. Back on September 5th, I was doing a job, a um, doing a uh, dual lane job from. Tampa Bay, Florida, over to Orlando, and uh, I was a long concrete beam. I want to say it was an 84 inch tall beam. I think she was like 170 feet long, 180 feet long. She was a heavy girl. So we had to use our dual lanes. Stick your finger where you wouldn't put your manhood. For lack of a better term. But anyway, I uh, and I've done this many times. But and I've always known the risk of doing it. But I wasn't really concentrating. And the reason why I know it's, it's September fifth because the very next day was my daughter's birthday, and I was trying to get back because we were celebrating. And. So therefore, right there, just I really want to concentrate. Well, when I got the leg up, it's, a, it's, a, it's one landing leg. I got it up, and it weighs about 250 pounds. I got it up, and I pushed it into the sleeve, but I didn't push it in all the way like I normally do because it was on uneven ground at the bottom. And uh, so I had to take the pin out because there's an extension to it. I had to take the pin out. So the extension would give me a little bit more uh, supply to push it in. Well, I got that, and I, I got and I got it around so it goes straight in. But I, what I didn't do is I didn't push it all the way in on the trailer. And you'll see what it's a big hole about that big. It's about six, four to six inches. The sleeve that that part of the landing leg fits in. Well, in doing that trying to put the pin back in. I stuck this finger on the back side of the um, of the landing leg while trying to stick the pin, while trying to reach and grab for the pin and push it in. But in those split seconds, and it happened so bad, in those split seconds, I slipped. And therefore, it pulled the, pulled the top part, the, the L part of that leg that was going into the um, the trailer and pulled it out. And shoot. It was so fast. It was so fast. Yo, I'm going to show you on this finger what I lost. Uh -oh. What I lost was that. And I'm going to put in there put in the video <laughs> the finger but that's what's gone I use this just so if somebody asks they're not seeing it first you know and most people don't ask I gotta admit most people don't ask now the guys that were there and these guys that were there they, 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 they're these big burly guys that are you know, in front of the woods, and they skin hogs, and you know they'll snatch a snake up by the tail and look it in the eye, and you know all this stuff they do in the woods. But when they heard about this, I had one guy, one guy, Ryan Patchett. But I had some other guys out there that were just, they were hurling, or about to hurl, and just, just, you know. And I'm laughing. I'm laughing because I'm mad, and I'm laughing at them as well because I'm like. Yeah, y'all don't like the sight of blood. And I'm looking at my finger. And you all to see it in the video. I'm going to put the video in there of what my finger looked like. I guess I can pick up speed. But I'm laughing at these guys, but I'm also pissed. I am so pissed at myself. I put a dent in my door. I thought I did. I, I can't find it. But I, I, I hit that door so hard. But I ended up having to... Uh, guy Ryan Padgett who ended up taking me to the hospital. I knew at that point I was done. I didn't know how long I was done, but I was done. He took me to the hospital and um, but 
before he did that, he had to dig my glove. Well, yeah, I did have my glove. He had to dig my glove out. The way, the, what happened, the part at the bottom that I was adjusting slides inside of the part that was I was hooking up top. So when that piece fell, the part at the bottom slid up in there, the part at the top slid down, and that's, and I had my finger, I had my finger upside down. And so it snapped here, it, 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 it shaved it here. So, so it didn't go from the top of the nail down, it went from the, ah uh, shoot, I can't do it. <laughs> it went from the back, the back of the nail down, down that way. So it was still stuck in there. And they thought they could save it, so he, he dug it out. Ryan is my dude. Ryan dug that thing out and we still left it in the glove or whatever. I had it with me and I, I called my wife and she didn't believe me so I put on a, a videotape and sent it to her and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, But you know, when they ask you a question, yes, it hurt. But what hurt worse? First, I had to go to one hospital. They didn't have a hand specialist there. So they had to transport me in, a, in, a, in an ambulance, an ambulance, in an ambulance to another hospital that had a hand specialist. And um, I got there, I waited, I waited, I waited. And he, he came out, he came in, he said, you know, talk to me for a minute. Then we're not going to be able uh, to uh, put it back on. It's, just, it's been too long, first and second, and just the way, it, the way it was chopped off. There's no way to do it. I'm ready to do it. There's no way to do it. He said, your nail may grow back. And all that kind of stuff, but when you talk to your, your, uh, your when I talk to my uh, my workman's comp doctor, they'll go through all that with me. But uh, the part that hurt the worst was he had to, you know, get, get a needle so he could numb the finger because he had to bite back, literally his words, not mine, bite back the bone that was still exposed. Well, I, I didn't see it. He knew it because his hands, his fingers, I don't know. He, he knew it was there. But when he stuck that needle into the tip of my finger, I take it, I would have had two or three more fingers chopped off, to be honest with you. And I'm dead serious. That was, that pain there hurt. It, you know, I'm not saying it was excruciating, you know, but like whatever. No, I'm not talking about that. But, your fingers, you all know, man. I'm, I'm pretty sure you all are drawing up right now when, when that thing's head shoot. My finger, was, and I snatched my finger out. I knew. I looked at it. Yep, that's done. You know, and I'm not afraid of blood or, or you know, I've broken a few bones here and there and all that kind of stuff. But it didn't bother me like that. I was just mad. I was gonna be off work. <laughs> I do like what I do. I like trucking. I was mad. I'm gonna be at work. When he bent the bone back and all that kind of stuff, and all he was doing is, you know, pinching the bone, pinching the bone. And I sat down and watched him do it all. After he got numb, you know, I, was, I sat down and watched what he was doing. And when I got to the uh, hand doctor in, in Tampa, my uh, workman's comp doctor, he's like, that was the best thing he could have done. That was the best thing he could have done. So, uh, workman's comp took care of me for the most part. Uh, you know, the checks are kind of iffy at the end. Uh, but because I, the type of money I made, I was at the top tier, so it cleared me. You know, I did okay. You know, they, you know, I, I did okay through those seven weeks I was off. You know, I, I, uh, it was, I put like, like, you know, it was, it was basically about a thousand off. You know, I did okay for not, and not being able to work. I could drive and all that. I couldn't drive a truck. I couldn't drive a mechanic because I was on work with something. I couldn't do anything. And I really just took that time off. It drove me crazy. But for seven weeks or whatever, that's all I was doing because the I still can't do it. So I, I can. You know, I know some of my aunts gonna be like, "What in the world?" Because I, I didn't tell anybody I was embarrassed. Not my uncle Vernon, God rest his soul, he was alive. He and I had, had something in common because I think his pinky was gone. 
you know, but uh, my daughter said, Dad, you got old man hands now. It is what it is. But, uh, you know the lesson learned. You're like, oh, you know, I got some people say, don't stick your finger where you want to put your, your manhood. That's yeah, true enough. That's true. That is so true. And I'll never do it again. You know, and I, but I'm not afraid of it. Matter of fact, my next job was uh, working with that type trailer. But when I got back, I went, I did a few little small high jobs. And when I got, but my first big job was messing with one of those trailers. You know, and I, you know, and there was the SOP put out, standard operating procedure throughout the company about what to do and how not to do that and all that kind of stuff. You know, they should just put my name on it. I can go teach a class on it. I'm not afraid of it. I still respect it. You know, I still respect it. That's why you have to have your mind right when you're doing these type of jobs. Especially heavy car, heavy hard. But if you can lose something, be it a limb, life, or someone else's life, you have to be mindful. For me, it was just a tip of my finger. And I say just a tip of my finger because I got nine other tips. I can still grip. You know, I, I, I can still, I can still, if I have the box, I have the box. You know, so everything's still the same. It's just, it was a lesson learned. I, uh, I do keep it. You all see me have it on as you have it in videos, and sometimes you see me have it off. You know, for the most part, it's just a uh, thing for me not to have to uh, talk about it all the time. I don't mind. Less than ours, it's, it's, it's a joke. You know, it's something because I'm so That's what it look on that. I gotta get the nail taken off of it, get the nail taken off of it. But that's what it look on, like on the back side. Yeah. You know. But. It's all good. I don't. I have some pretty nice hands. I mean, you know, they're not. They're not bad. But uh, it's, it don't look too terribly different. I'm just gonna like get that nail removed so it looks somewhat normal. Just matter of fact, the guy I used to work for, Greg Brooks. I think it might be the same finger that is on the uh, left index finger and in the uh, left hand. Yeah, it's the left index finger. But, uh, you know, just so you all, if anybody would wonder, you know, I know my honor is going to call me about it. Bro, <laughs> I hear my mom's voice, but a lot of things I do, I do right or wrong. And uh, that's what she's saw. Uh, every time I say something about something happening, be it good, bad, and different, because uh, it was always bro. So, and that's what my cousins and them call me and my aunts and uh, my, you know, my aunt Irina. <laughs> she, uh, she, she, she'll give me a call about it. I will be surprised. She, she either call or text me for me to call her. <laughs> but, uh, you know, other than that, you know, that's the only thing I really had happen to me. But like I say, in this job, you got to be mindful of what you're doing. Anyway, we'll get on down this road. I'll, uh, I don't know what video I'm going to put this in, be it today's video or another one down the road, but I just want to finally explain. Stop it. Love it. Nine and three quarters. Nine and two thirds. You know, all the other, you know, so anyway, I'll holler at you all later.